Yo, yo, how's it going, guys? Moon here. And today, we're going to be doing a guide going over desynthesis and how to power level from the beginning of Heaven's Ward all the way to the end of Stormblood currently with your desynthesis. Now, I've been working on desynthesis all week, and, you know, I'm bored. I have nothing to do. i done my rating for the week, so I was working on desynthesis. And I realized... Even though there is guides going over a realm reborn to Heaven's Ward, there's no guides going from Heaven's Ward to Stormblood currently. And I feel like that's the real hard part when it comes to desynthesis is finding out what can I break down to level up, uh, you know, my uh, my desynthesis to the next level. And today on this video, I'm going to show you guys how to go there, how to power level your desynthesis all the way up to you know current end game now keep in mind this is some true end game shit this is a power level guy like some of you guys won't be able to do this shit at the very least you're gonna need about 10 mil maybe 15 mil to level up one of your desynthesis crafters and um that's just to be safe not to say you're gonna spend all of it but this is a power level guide and, you know, this is how to get there as fast and quickly as possible. And that's what we're going to do today. So, all right, let's start it off. All right, so right now, like, I'm working on my armor. I already got my leather work. I already got weave, Weaver up to 300. But I'm going to get my third um, crafter desynthesis up to 300. And I started out at 30. Like just like a half an hour ago, and I already started it off. But if you want to, if you're new to desynthesis and you want to level up something, let's say you're at you know level 20 with your desynthesis, I would recommend you going here in the western Thanalan that started off. You know, um, what's it called the silver brazer. You go here, it's in western Thanalan, all the way at the bottom, and you talk to this Lalafell right here. This Lalafell sells items. That is specifically for and only for desynthesis on each and every um, crafting uh, classes. And I, I recommend you buying at least a full stack, maybe even a stack and a half if you're unlucky. But you could get from uh, where I st started from at like level 30 to at least level 90 with your desynthesis. So that's what I'm going to currently do right now. I am, I'm already halfway through my stack and... It doesn't take that long for you to do it. It's not hard to desynthesis, and it gives you a lot of points. So that's what I'm going to be doing. Uh, it's probably going to take me about like 10 minutes uh, to get to level 90 with my desynthesis. And then when I come back, I'm going to skip this. When I come back, we're going to go to the next part, and we're going to talk about uh, you know blowing through Heaven's Ward stuff to uh, to the end of Heaven's Ward. So okay. All right, and I'm back. Uh, it actually took me a little longer than I thought it would be. Uh, it actually took me about two stacks of those items to get up to uh, at least level 80 uh, with my desynthesis. So here I am in, um, in Heaven's Ward now. So that took me all the way to Heaven's Ward level. And right now I'm in the foundation. I'm talking to this... Um, this uh, vendor right here and what this vendor does now what I didn't know before I think this is a new feature but this this um, uh, vendor sells you know basically all the levels of uh, Heaven's Ward uh, leveling gear so you really don't even have to go anywhere to um, but talk to this vendor to get to the end of Heaven's Ward and you're gonna start at level 50 uh, gear you know, purchase the, um, you know, you're going to want to purchase, you know, the cheapest of the, an item that you could desynthesis over and over again, uh, because, you know, this is a power leveling guide, what you're going to do here and talk to vendors and, you know, just keep purchasing, you know, the same item over and over again until you at least hit hundred percent and then you move on to the next level. Um, so I'm going to purchase this. This is a good, nice, cheap, very cheap. I'm very surprised. I thought armor is going to be um, very expensive, but, um, you know, this item is pretty cheap, so. You know, just, just fill up your inventory with this. 
Now, also, what you're gonna want to do when you're like power leveling, uh, you're gonna want to you're you're gonna want to have food, uh, desynthesis of uh, food, which I believe is bacon broth, and you're gonna want to have this potion that's gonna help you um, level up quicker. I forget the name of it though. Let me find the name. I have all of that. Um, now, if you're on the Corel server, um, I bought all the potions and the food. So, I mean, good luck trying to copy what I'm doing on my server. So, you know, I have, you know, I don't really care about showing you guys all this because it's not really going to affect the, my market board or, or the server. But I'm pretty sure on other people's servers, they want to know how to do this. So, you're going to want to have this food, bacon broth, you know, um, high quality or not it really doesn't matter i got both and you're gonna want to have this food where's the food at oh here it is uh tanker's calm now this is a very rare item i don't know where it comes from but i bought it all on the market board so there's none on the market board left and i'm just gonna pop one And we're gonna now without the food and without the potion, it was about 30% for me to do it. Now it's at 50%. So with the food and potion, it gave me at least 20% more of a success rate. So that's pretty good. I mean, 50%. I could work with 50%. Now you're gonna want to just keep desynthesis um, this um, item until you at least hit 100%. Until you're like really comfortable, until you see that you know you're not really getting that much more, um, you know, skill rate increase uh, from this item, then you're gonna want to move on to the next um, set, which I'm gonna show you guys after I get up to um, success rate 100. So I'll be right back. All right, so. I broke down enough of this item to get it to 100%. Now, keep in mind that you want to, you know, reach uh, at least near 100% even without the food and without the potion. So, doesn't mean that you're at 100% with the food and potion. That doesn't mean that you're, you know, very familiar with it and stuff. This this is the, the goal to the end of this video is to break down you know, end game stuff currently in, in Stormblood without the need of potions and, and without the need of food. So, okay, so I broke down enough of this level 50 item. Now, we're not going to go to level 52 with level 54. No, we're going to skip right to level 56 because the other levels is just a waste of time. So we're going to look for an item here and uh, let's see. Something cheap. Yeah, I think this is... It's going as good as it gets, you know, get the belt. Just going to buy a bunch of those. So far, so good. You know, I haven't spent that much money. The tricky part is once you reach the end of Heaven's Ward. But I'll talk more about that later. So, all right, let me break this stuff down. Let me see where the percent is. 82? See, I don't need to buy that much of this stuff. So, all right. Let me break this stuff down, and I'll be right back. All right, so I finished those last uh, set of items, uh, the level 56 items. And I just want to point something out real quick. Uh, the last stuff that I was breaking down, um, I'm putting, like, when you're breaking down something, the goal is you're getting something in return. You know, the stuff that you're breaking down, you're getting the raw materials that is needed to make that, uh, that item. And I just want to point out that the stuff that I was breaking down, it's selling for about 20k p uh, piece. That is, m like, double the amount of the stuff that I was buying it for like <laughs> it's crazy like i'm i'm basically making double by breaking down this item you know i'm not gonna abuse this i already have like more than enough that i could put on the market board with this something i just want to point out real quick that you, like you like even when you're leveling this stuff up you're making money you're making bank even leveling this up so you know 
All right, so let's go on to, you know, the last step of um, uh, Heaven's Ward, and uh, let's, let's go right to it. Okay, so the last step of, you know, leveling through Heaven's Ward with uh, Desynthesis is you had you actually have to go to Azasla because the vendor in the foundation doesn't sell item level 150 gear. So you have to go to Azasla and you have to, you know, just do what you was doing before, you know, just buy, you know, the cheapest item that you want to, you know, uh, break down and you just, uh, you know, you just do what you got to do. Um, now this should at least, you should at least be doing this to at least, um, item level 170, you know, everything before, you know, you just get to a hundred percent, but you want to at least be, um, level 170 with your desynthesis, uh, before you end this. So just keep, you know, breaking this stuff down, you know, you're going to get some good stuff to keep, um, keep that in mind that, you know. You're also getting something in return, so you know when you're throwing your money down the well, you're gonna get you're gonna get some something back from it. So um, yeah, I'm gonna be here. I'm gonna be leveling up. It's gonna I'm gonna it's gonna take at least uh, 30 skill points to get up to where I need to be, and I will come back. All right, the moment of truth, guys. So I got my armor desynthesis to level 168, which I feel is good enough. I said 170, but 168 is perfectly fine. And this is the moment of truth. This is the this is the part where there isn't any guides online that tells you what to do. Because, I mean, the goal with Desynthesis is once you got to, you know, where I, where I was last left off at um, level 170, then... You're supposed to go through the dungeons in Heaven's Ward and just get the loot from the dungeons and that will boost up your um your desynthesis. But since we're in Stormblood, why would we go back and do Heaven's Ward stuff? So this is the true power leveling guide, and this is something that they're not gonna tell you to do anywhere else. So as you know, Palace of the Dead drops a lot of loot. You know, um, it drops a lot of old stuff that's really cheap that nobody's doing anymore. The the old coil stuff, the replica armor, we're going to buy some of that and we're going to, and that should boost up um, where we need to go after this. Uh, let's see. No, I was just looking on there. There it is, this helmet. Now look how cheap this helmet is. This, this part... I just turned this part from the hardest to do to actually the cheapest to do. And now keep in mind that this is going to vary from server to server. So that's why I kind of recommend during this part that you want to be a level 60 crafter of that current class. You want to have all the books from Heaven's Ward uh, on that current class or profession. And that should help you out. Let's see. Just buying out everybody's gear that nobody's using. Like, nobody's got, like, this This stuff is ugly. Nobody's going to glamour it. You might as well just put some use to it and actually break it down and level up your descent. Uh, I'll buy the last one. Now, let me show you how, like, what's a good step to, you know, find out, like, what can you desymph and what you cannot desymph. So, if you have the books, I mean, it will tell you right here, like, this is where we was, um, last in Azaslaw, the, the item level 150 gear. Now, if you keep going down, it's going to get harder. I mean, we could start with level 60, but, you know, that stuff is very expensive usually on the market, and it's in, and for very good reason, because it takes a lot of you know, different materials to actually craft that type of stuff. Um, now, for my other two decents, I actually had to, you know, when there wasn't stuff on the market board, I actually have to craft some things. Uh, but if you keep going down, it's going to get harder. Like the sky stuff, you know, that's definitely, you know, you get some points off of that if you could, you know, manage to get your hands on that. 
But and then you go to the next book and it's gonna get harder. And when you know it's the replica um stuff that you get from Palace of the Dead. You could desims that, you know, very easily. So that's what we're gonna do. And you know, I'm gonna buy all the replica stuff. That should at least boost me to like I don't know, maybe like a little before 200 you know level 200 and i'm going to show you where i'm going to go from there um let's see i mean armor is a little hard uh harder to do which i kind of figured because there's less glamour options but when i was like leveling up leather worker or weaver there was more stuff that I could, you know, decent with that was from Palace of the Dead or, or that was very easy, uh, easily made. Um, like for my Weaver that I just leveled up yesterday, you know, I, I, you know, I craft some of this stuff. It was very easy to make and it's very cheap on the market board. Uh, this stuff right here, I made a ton of those, you know, there's, there's less glamour on armor. But, you know, but I'm going to see what I could do and I'll let you know. I'm going to fast forward and I'm going to decent the stuff that I got on the market board. I mean, if I'm lucky, then, oh, hold on. Let me uh, eat the food and eat a potion because I'm going to need all that stuff so I don't waste it. This is very luck based. I mean... If you're lucky like me, I'm probably going to level up, you know, based off of this replica stuff to the next level, hopefully. I mean, hopefully there's enough stuff on the market board to, for me to do that. Um, not getting very lucky. Uh-oh, has my luck ran out? It's like, how do you fail at, like, 90%? 90% and you fail? Like, that's bullshit. But I bet if it was 10%, then it would still fail. Like, what the hell? <laughs> like, if it fails at 90%, you would think at, like, 10% you would have a chance. But no, that's not how... That's not the case in this game. It could be 99% and you could still fail. And, of course, as usual, you're going to get some, you know, stuff back that you could sell in the market. I got a level 3 Battlecraft um, Demi material. That's that's uh, worth, you know, a little bit on, on this, uh, on the market board. I mean, if I could get up to 200 this off of Replica stuff, then that would be great. Then I wouldn't have to like craft anything, but I do recommend you being a level 60 crafter with ironworks gear. Oh, sorry about that. With ironworks gear. Just to make sure, because I mean, you could, you know, just rely on the market board, but you know, I wouldn't put everything into the market board. You know, you're trying to level up as quickly as possible. You know, any means necessary, you know, don't just rely on the market board. You know, sometimes you're going to have to craft. But all right, let me fast forward. I'm going to buy some more replica stuff and I will catch you back. I'll let you know what I'm, what I, what's my plans. Oh my God. Okay, there is an unlimited supply of Palace of the Dead replica gear on the market board. Like, it not only got me past 200 you know, level 200, I'm at, like, 211 now, um, but I made so much money off of, off of this decent thing, all of that stuff, like, let me show you what I worked with, I made almost a stack off of Battlecraft Demi material, and I could keep going, too, keep this in mind, I could keep going, the stuff was so cheap, I was buying stuff off the market board for about, like, two to five thousand, on my market board, I don't know how it is on yours, but Battlecraft Materia is selling for at least 11k, 11k a pop. So let's do that. Let, let's put it. If I if I was to put 11k on the market board, I made damn near a million off of just buying shit on the market board and breaking it down. 
I am making like, like I think I started with about I don't know seventy three million. So I lost about like two, almost three million. But I basically made a million back off of Battlecraft material and off of other stuff. I think I out of all of this leveling, I may have spent about like a mil. At the most, I spent a mil. Like this is crazy, guys. Like like no effort at all. Super quick power level. And you're making money at the same time. Why isn't more people doing this? Why? Well, there is people doing it, but why isn't there guides for this stuff? Because they don't want you to know. The people that make guides like this, they don't want you to know you could break this stuff down and get Battlecraft Demi Materias and all types of sweet loot. Like, all this stuff that I have in my FC chest, I am giving it to my ult, and I am going to be selling it after this video. I'm going to be making bank this is all stuff that I, I, I got from just breaking stuff down. So, all right, let's go. So, I'm done. Heaven's Word stuff is done. I can break down all that stuff. I We're finally ready to go into Stormblood. So, let's go into the first area, and we're going to break down level 60 gear, 255. Or we're going to attempt to. I think I'm ready to. We're going to go to the fringes. We're going to talk to a vendor, and it's just the same old, same old. We're just going to break it down. We're going to get some sweet stuff back, and we're just going to keep it going from there. Like, I'm making money off of doing this. And also, I don't have to worry about this ever again. I'll be making money forever after that. As long as you keep up and you keep breaking stuff down when you get stuff through dungeons, you're going to keep getting money. But there's... I'm, I could keep going and buying stuff on the market board and making money off of that, but I but I, I like to do other stuff today, so we're going we're gonna to keep it going. Let's see. All right. So we're in the Stormblood area. I'm looking for the cheapest thing. Stormblood stuff is a little pricey, a, l a little bit more expensive than your average stuff. I don't want to buy that helmet. Is there anything else I could possibly get? Uh, was... You could also, you know, break down, like, you know, gathering, crafting stuff. But for armor, I doubt there's going to be anything that's uh, for gathering and crafting. Let's see. Well, I guess I'm going to have to buy that fucking helmet. The helmet's expensive, but fuck it, man. All right. So, I mean, I better get something sweet back. I mean, All right, let's see what I how I can I break it down without food or potions. It's probably gonna be very low, seven percent. Hmm, that's very fucking low. <laughs> it's very low. Um, that's how it is. This is probably one of the hardest parts. Despite the last part, that could be hard whether you know determining on your server or not. You know, it could be hard. This is this going to be hard regardless. I mean, you, you could either keep wasting money in Heaven's Ward and old stuff and, you know, making this part easier. Or you could, you know, just rely on RNG and what I'm going to do and just try to, you know, get through this as uh, quickly as possible. All right, let's see. As soon as I find that potion, you know, make sure you have your food and your potion because you're going to need it if you're going to do what I'm doing. And let's see what I could... Uh, 30%, that's not bad. I, you could work with 30%. So, I'm going to keep doing this uh, until I get to 100%. Um, actually, even past 100%, because I want to, you know, not rely on food or potions for the next step. So, I'm going to keep doing this. It's going to probably be a while. I'm going to get some sweet stuff um, in the meantime. So, yeah, I'll catch you guys when I'm done this. Wow, talk about a gill sink. Man, wow, that, that at least took about like a million.
from that last step. I mean, I started with very low RNG and I managed to get up to a hundred uh, percent uh, with breaking that stuff down, uh, that level 60 gear. And now we're going to skip all the way to level 66. This like the Heaven's Ward stuff, how we went to 50 to 56. Stormblood, we're going to go to 60 to 66. And um, let's see. Let's see if we can find anything. If you don't know where I'm at, I'm at the at Azim Steps at the Reunion Teleport. So you go there, you talk to this uh, vendor right here. Uh, she sells level 66 gear. Uh, let's see if I could find something that's uh, somewhat cheap. Damn it. Um, damn it. It just gets pricier and pricier from here. I'm shocked there's like no belt that's like from armor. Of course, the mages don't have anything. Uh, let me check. Yeah, it looks like I'm gonna have to buy those, uh, this hat, or whatever, or the boots. It's like 20 mil pop, so keep in mind, just buying five of these is over 100k, so this is gonna be another gill sink. This is why I said in the beginning of the video, you want to have millions of gill. This for once you get to Stormblood stuff, because this is where the gill sink comes into place. All the other stuff isn't that bad this stuff right here is where the where the gill is gonna go so let me see my percent i'm gonna need food let me see how it is without the food in the potion 33 oh, percent bacon broth It should be at least 50% now. Yeah, 54%. But, you know, we're getting there. And we're getting close to the end of the video. I mean, there's only one more spot after this. And then and then we'll be ready for endgame for Stormblood. So, I'm going to be decent in this. And uh, I'll catch you guys um, when I'm done. What yet another gill sink? We're finally here, guys. Though we're at the locks, we're at the final place. This is the final time we're gonna have to do this to get to end game storm blood, you know, level 300, you know, with your descent. Uh, we're actually gonna aim to go over 300. I'm gonna go over to at least 308, uh, with my descent just to be safe because you know i like to be a little bit higher um let's see turns out there's no level 70 vendor though so we're just gonna buy stuff from the level 68 vendor over in the locks uh both the vendors both sell the same gear It's going to be the last gill sink. You know, Stormblood's been killing my wallet, but I mean, it's all going to pay off. I still have a lot of stuff to sell. All right, let's see. I'm probably going to need um, a potion. It's probably going to be very low RNG, my guess. Oh, no, it's not that bad. It's actually not that bad. So, yeah, I'm just going to be doing this. Um, I'm at 286 right now. I'm going to, you know, get up another 20. And, yeah, we're going to hit the end of this video. So, I'm going to just do this, and I'll see you guys at the end. All right, I finally did it. I'm at... Over 300 endgame Stormblood with my desynthesis, you know, for armor. And, um, yeah, I mean, how long did it take me? About, like, two hours. And, like, we legit made it from 0 to 300. Not 0 to 100, man. We went to 0 to 300, man, in, like, two hours. We made some money. 
I mean, yeah, Stormblood was a little bit of a gill sink, and um, uh, one thing that I did mess up on, and that is if you're leveling up armor, um, make sure just to buy the shields from the vendors. Don't buy, like, the helmet, the plated armor, or anything like that. That's way too expensive. Go and buy the shields. That's what I did for the, the last uh, vendor. Uh, after I realized, I'm like, oh, wait, I could buy the, the shield instead. And that saved me a lot of gill. And, yeah, so, I mean, finally, I mean, there's no guides out there like that. And I was like, you know what? Fuck it, man. I'm just going to make one by myself. Um, because, like, waiting for other people to, to, you know, come out with a guide or whatever and let this... Uh, I feel like, like, people know this stuff, but the reason there isn't any guides for you know, desynthesis uh, with Stormblood yet is because they're, you know, making all the money right now doing it. So, you know, I'm going to kill the market board with this, but I mean, hey man, I don't really care. I just think it's really cool that, you know, for stuff that you just don't need anymore, uh, like this axe, you know, level third, uh, you know, it's a uh, level 300. Now, keep in mind, I'm not using any food, I'm not using any potions, and right now, I'm, it's at uh, 89%. Okay, and yeah, I mean, I got an Ignit, I, don't, I have no idea what the Stormblood, um, you know, new materia is, but I'm pretty sure this is expensive, this Ignit, and you got some clusters, and yeah, I mean, it's better than just tossing it out, it's better than giving it to your grand company for, you know, because there's not nothing really um, at the grand company that you can really make money off of at the moment. But, I mean, that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I mean, like, like I said before, there's no videos out there going through, you know, decent like I just did. And, you know, I'm here to help you guys out. And, um, yeah, I mean, make sure to at least leave a like, you know, a comment below if you guys need, uh, uh, need any help. And if you want to see more videos like this in the future, man, like, this, all I ask is just to hit that sub button so you can get that notification when I put more videos out there like this. Because it makes me feel good, you know? <laughs> but, alright, that's it, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And happy December. Have a good day, guys. Peace.